so in today's video, I'm gonna be hydro dipping a pair of Nike React shoes. As you can see here, this is the X14, and this is a great uh, model. I cleaned it up a little bit with my Rejuvenator. If you guys have not used Rejuvenator yet, it is my sneaker cleaning product of choice. You can use code HESKIX10, save 10% off of your entire order at Rejuvenator. I personally prefer the laundry cleaning system, as I've mentioned many, many times. It's a great gift for other people, but it's also one of the staples for Rejuvenator, in my opinion. But HESKIX10, if you guys are interested, and shout out to Rejuvenator for always being the helpful plug uh, for myself. In this video, though, I'm going to be using this Nike React shoe right here, and this is really soft and malleable, kind of like Boost is, but Boost actually works really well for Hydro Dip, for myself at least. I figured it would look kind of good with the gold and the yellow of this shoe right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this Hydro Dip. All right, so here is the final results of this crazy, crazy mess of a shoe. So I definitely went with an abstract look. I honestly got tired of trying over and over again on this material. And this is Nike React. This is an EXP X14 shoe. That does have full length React on it, but it just doesn't work on React. So that is what I'm leaving you guys with. I did try it on this burner pair a while ago and I thought it was uh, not working because of the film, which it definitely was not working because of the film, but you could see when you squish it, it does like hold its shape pretty well. So it looked like it would be possible, but for some reason it just does not work very well though. I mean, obviously if you guys saw my um, tips video on how to hydro dip, you can't really hydro dip soft, really, really malleable material like this. So as you compress down, you could see as I wore these for a day, like this ended up happening and you could see it just doesn't hold on that material. Oddly enough though, this upper, it holds on really, really well. I couldn't get any of that off. So this clear uh, material that Nike has definitely works. This material here is a stretch neoprene material. Definitely wouldn't work at all. And so you can get an idea of how it works with different uh, materials. Again, Nike React definitely does not work. So definitely uh, kind of ruined a pair, but I bought these for $25, so it wasn't a huge deal. And honestly, I could still use these as my garage beaters that I had them as before. So no harm, no foul. But I did want to try this out for you guys and ran into a lot of issues and uh, it just didn't work. Because of that, I would definitely say don't try to hydro dip 
React. It's definitely not worth it. Oddly enough, it works really good on Adidas Boost, as you can see. It holds on quite well, so you can see it's really well done. Like if you take a, a screwdriver and rub it, you could probably take it off, but it's really quite durable. I mean, it lasts quite a bit of wear on the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost. And because React is somewhat similar, I thought it would have the same experience, but as you can see, it uh, did not work. Now, maybe if you had React on a different uh, midsole where it doesn't have so many ridges, Maybe it will work better. Maybe this is the problem and I need to try on a smooth React uh, shoe. You guys already know that our Nike React fans out there, uh, the material creases really, really easily. So because of the extra creasing on it, it's gonna add a lot of extra like pressure to the shoe in a different way than what Boost does because it's even more evenly distributed and it doesn't crease like that. So yeah, that's the reason why I don't think it works. I mean, I kind of knew going into it that it wouldn't work. That's why I hesitated for six months to try it out, but for science, for you guys, I wanted to try it out. So if you guys like the fact that I tried it, even though it was a fail, give the video a thumbs up. Um, I do have some other Hydro Dips in the works, but I did want to show you guys an update to one of the more successful uh, Hydro Dips that I had here. And this is that crazy giraffe print. And you can see it worked out pretty well on this one. And a lot of people wanted to know if it was durable. So I just wanted to show you guys the durability of the shoe. So you can see right here, there's actually a lot of creasing in the shoe just for me wearing them. Um, like right here, you can see there's a crease right here. Like it's, I'm showing you that it's creasing, but it doesn't wear through. So like this is actually really quite wearable as you can see. So just wanted to show you guys the update as you can see with the creases and stuff. Doesn't matter, doesn't impact the wear. Um, it still wears really well. And it's because this shoe was properly treated and because it works well on this uh, McDonald's leather that they have on the Air Force Ones. So. Just wanted to show you that it works, even though it creases and stuff, and that is kind of uh, the wear. A lot of people thought it would just crack and fall off and stuff, but this is like super binded to this material. Uh, so yeah, just thought I'd give you guys an update on that. But that is uh, the uh, the video. If you guys have more videos that you guys would like to see on Hydro Dip shoes, leave some comments, let me know what shoes, what prints you guys would like to see. I have a bunch more that I'm planning on doing. I got four new prints that are just absolutely crazy. So I can't wait to use some of those ones on some uh, future projects. But we will see you guys with some more videos soon. Peace, guys.